What's up guys, so I'm going to be doing an editing tutorial today because you guys wanted me to on my Instagram story. So yeah, and I'm not going to like cut it at all, this is just me editing a photo from start to finish. So this, I have these three pictures and I want to put them together Ooh. into a panel. So I'd select all these, photo merge, and then panorama. And then I need a new computer, it's kind of slow sometimes, but it's fine. Alright, and then that looks pretty good. So just hit and then wait for it. Maybe. Okay, here we go. So now I have this. Um, and normally I'd just like put a preset on or something and make it look cool, but I'm gonna do it like all like uh, no presets today. So first thing I would do is uh, make it a little brighter and stuff, make the uh, histogram a little more even, and uh, just like brighten the shadows a little bit and stuff, and maybe take the con contrast up a little. Um, and then after that, I usually don't mess with the point curve too much. I just, like, see if any of them look good. That one looks pretty good. So, I'll use that one. Bring up the darks a little. Yeah. Um, then, skip that for now. And then I just put some lens corrections on. But, actually, I don't want to for this. Because that kind of ruined it. Um... The picture looks pretty straight right now, I'd say, but I'll click auto and then straighten it anyways. Yeah, and then I'm going to crop it to a 2 by 3 ratio, and I'll try and keep, I'll do, that looks pretty good right there. So yeah, and then uh, next thing I do is I would bring the temperature, or the tint up to pink a little. And bring the temperature up yellow a little and then bring the saturation and vibrance up a little bit and I normally don't do a ton with uh, um, coloring for separate colors but I would do maybe mess around with it a little bit and try and get it to look a little better um, so then after I mess with this a little it to how I like it. I go to the split toning and I'll usually turn the highlights to a pinkish color to like make it look more pink like because it just helps a little and then I'll take the shadows to like a bluish sometimes. Maybe yeah like right about there looks good I'd say. Um, and then the calibration I don't really know how this works, but it just like changes the color of the image like, completely. So I just like slide around with those until I like it and I think it looks good. So I'd say probably that looks pretty good right there. And then I would go to this right here, the graduated filter, and just drag this down over most of the sky and I would turn this pinker and add a little bit more temperature to it or uh, yellow to make it uh, make it the whole sky turn a little more pink because that will look more natural with the rest of the sky so that right there is a pretty decent looking um, edit for Lightroom and the next thing I would do actually I might go to here and take out some of these towers just like the little distracting details uh, yep and then just like some little stuff all over like all those birds just get rid of those Uh, 
the rest of it looks pretty clean and good. So the next thing I would do is click edit in Photoshop and then it will take it to Photoshop and that's where I finish my editing. I'm going to cut it here and I'll come back once I have Photoshop opened. Alright, I'm back and we're in Photoshop now. So uh, first thing I would do with this uh, image in Photoshop now is so it doesn't really have any like central subject for you to look at, you know, it's kind of just a sky and some water. So we need something in the middle to look at. So I'd go to file, place embedded, and I could add like a moon or could add a bird or like a uh, sailboat. I think I'm going to do a sailboat for today. So, I'd get the sailboat in here, and just put it wherever, and then once I have the sailboat, I'd click here to add a mask, and then, actually I'd make this bigger, hold on, so I can edit it at full size, so I'd add a mask, click, oh, whoops, uh, and then click select and mask, and here what I would do is go to this one, which is just like auto, I don't know, it just makes it easier. And I would just paint away the sky, and it's pretty good at this usually, with painting out the right stuff. Um, so I would paint out the water, so I have just a sailboat left, oop, don't want to do that. Um, so then, since it's going to be annoying about doing that, I would take it to, uh, the, like, fully manual brush, so, like, yeah, and then I just, like, kind of eyeball it, because it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then, obviously, don't want the sun in there. That wouldn't be great. So, I'll brush that away. Um, and then, so in here, you can kind of see there's still some water in there. And I don't really want that in there. So, I would make my brush way smaller. That will probably be good. And just brush away some of this and like I said it doesn't really have to be perfect like it's gonna be fine so just keep brushing this away to like mostly the edge of the sailboat um, this computer is quite slow sometimes It'll get there eventually. So, yeah, and then I would fill this in just to get rid of all that. And get a little bit of this out too. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's pretty alright sailboat right there. It looks decent enough. And then I just clean this up, edge up a little. Almost there. Alright. So yeah, that's looking good, I'd say. And so next thing I would do is click this just to help the edges a little bit. Um, I don't know what those are. It's floaty things. And then 
Uh, I have feather on, don't really want that. So I turn that off. Um, shift edge, I don't really need to use that at all. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good right here. So I just click OK. And then I have a sailboat in my picture. So then I make it way smaller. I'd say probably about that size is good. And I want it centered. So like that. And then just click check. Don't need this layer anymore, so you can delete that. And then so obviously the sailboat looks photoshopped right now. Wait, I gotta fix that edge a little bit. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So I see the fit, shit. The sailboat looks a little photoshopped right now. So we go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and just bring the brightness down a little bit. Maybe bring the uh, contrast up. And then I would just go through some of these settings and just try and make it look more natural. And honestly, that right there looks looks pretty good. Doesn't look terrible. So that's pretty uh, believable looking, like if you're not looking super hard into it. So I'd say that's probably fine. And then just zoom back out. So next thing, I don't need that layer. I would just uh, merge all the visible layers right now. And then um, click. Uh, duplicate layer and then so this is called the Orton effect and it adds like a softer vibe to um, the image so what I would do is um, go to uh, filter blur Gaussian blur and it depends on like I don't know I just kind of eyeball it with how many pixels I want the blur to be. 20 is looking pretty good. So now that I have that, you go to the opacity and you bring it down to like about 20 or 25 ish, somewhere around there. And that just gives the image like a, a softer, kind of bleeds the colors a little bit. So like you can tell on like the edge right here and stuff. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Um, when I make it visible and that adds that like softness to the image and then so for my Instagram this part's optional but I do those white borders on my pictures so I would make sure that the image is 2 by 3 uh, yep looks like it is so I'd go to a square and just drag that out like so and then I would go to uh, 4 by 5 and then drag that out there and then center it. Yeah. And then when I export it, this uh, transparency right here will turn white. So go to File, Export, Export As. Maybe one day. It's a little slow sometimes. Okay, so I wouldn't want it in PNG because PNG will leave that transparency there. So I go to JPEG and then uh, quality 100, all that, it's all fine. And then just click export all. And then I would export it to this folder right here and just click save. And then that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to make more in the future, uh, just let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching.